My name is Don Benink. Uh, I'm a dairy farmer from Florida in the USA. Uh, we uh, uh, milk uh, about 4,300 cows. We'd have 4,800 cows milking and dry uh, and raise all our own replacements, uh, grow a lot of our own feed, uh, uh, of course deal with a very uh, hot, humid climate, which uh, we try very hard to provide an environment uh, for our cows that's favorable. Essentially, since 2009, we've had genomics become part of the picture and it's becoming more and more of the picture. It's allowing us to uh, have animals that are healthier. It's a, a lot easier to know uh, their genetics immediately rather than wait until they're older cows, five, six, seven uh, years old. We can know almost as much on a calf at six weeks old as we do on a five-year-old cow what their genetics are. This lets us uh, uh, improve at a much faster rate. The number of things that are tested for in genomics is probably 60, 70, 80 different items. Uh, and really, to make progress, you need to pick the few that are the most important to you. And sometimes, what some people are picking are really not that important to the dairy farmer, but to the individual who is making the decisions, they're important to him, but his, his uh, income is not coming from his milk check, it's coming from other sources. Uh, and, but for the dairy farmer, he needs a trouble-free cow that gives a lot of milk and stays around a long time. He picks the various parts of genomics that are tied to longer life, higher production, and uh, less susceptible to diseases and those kind of things. With the old pedigree values, uh, it was about 15. With genomics, uh, it's, a, it's upwards of 70% reliable. And inbreeding just gets you in trouble. You, you lose a lot of d disease resistance. Animals uh, are uh, not as healthy. Uh, we're also inbreeding uh, certain uh, uh, characteristics and recessives uh, because these bulls that they're inbreeding from meet certain standards, but they don't, like there are some things that affect cheese making that the inbreeding, because these bulls fit some people's standard, but inbreeding them makes their milk less and less valuable for cheese and things of that sort. We, uh, uh, inbreeding is generally uh, downhill, less disease resistance, less fertility. We're not taking advantage of uh, the animals we have to select from. They're, they're out there, but uh, we're adding in some factors uh, that really have nothing to do with the bottom line of dairy farming, that uh, are reducing our choices. Pick out uh, what affects your profitability the most and, and really work toward getting animals that are very high uh, in those areas, plus meet your standards in other areas. If you, if you just use average Holsteins, the crossbreeds will be more fertile. But if you're using the very best Holsteins for fertility, you'll get higher fertility than you will with crossbreeding. You make the first cross, it can be moderately successful, but as, as you keep crossing, you really don't know what you're gonna end up with. You're not breeding uh, to a specific direction.